Yeah. Speaking of jail, Lil Wayne was pardoned. True. I called it in November. I have interviews with T.K. Kirkland where I said, look, that picture of Wayne with Trump, Wayne is facing a federal gun charge, 10 years, second offense on a gun charge. That picture is specifically for a pardon. Of course. Wayne is facing 10 years yes. for that gun case. Remember, he already went to prison for a gun case, whatever, seven, yes. eight years ago. So you can't say, oh, this is a first offense. This is whatever. Oh, yeah. He's got a history of this And you know what of feds thing. do, right? They have a number system mm -hmm. that they go by the book. Right. And the feds don't lose. They don't 95 lose. 95% conviction rate. Yes. Wayne knew this thing was coming. So what I think is that he made a deal with Trump. He said, listen, I'll take a photo with you and show my support. And you pardon me on your way out. That would be clever. But I know Lil Wayne since he was 16. Okay. He's not that clever. That's just a fact. But what about the people around him? Possible. But I don't think... The reason why I voted against Trump, because he's not the kind of man... And I tell my children this. I'm, 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 I'm all about character. I would never want to do business with that man or sit down and he gives me a promise that he's going to do something. I wouldn't shake his hand. I wouldn't even be in the same room with him because as I've gotten older, I understand character and your word means everything. Sure enough, I was 100% right. True. Are you surprised at all? No. And I can't knock the hustle. Me, myself, per I would hope that I wouldn't sell my people out from not going to jail. But you would. <laughs> well... <laughs> For 10 years. For ten years. 10 years. Hey, we're strong enough. We can overcome one sellout. <laughs> one more sellout ain't gonna bring us down. We're a strong race. One more nigga selling us out ain't gonna bring us down. <laughs> they <laughs> fucking people in there now. now. They'll be all right. <laughs> we'll be all right. We listen. Me going against this white man ain't gonna turn the tide. And me being for him, we're stronger than that. So, yes, I will tell my people, listen, man, I believed in us. I think my selfish ass ways of telling people, hey, go vote for him and everything and keeping my ass out of harm's way, you know, we're bigger than that and we can handle that. So I did it for myself. Yes, I was being selfish. Yes, I sold us out as a race. Yes, I, yes, I, yes, sir. I'm, I'm yes, to all that. But deep in my heart, I just felt. Wasn't no sense another black man being <laughs> fucked in the ass, nor I don't think we weak as a people that we couldn't deal with one more sellout. I think we, we stronger than that. I think we can, I just feel we had one more in us. Remember uh, Steve Harvey, mm -hmm. you know, got photographed with Trump at True. one point. That didn't work out too well for him. No. He regretted it. Oh, he, he Trump set him up real good. Oh, yeah. Set him up real good. Steve talk about that all the time. Steve is one of is one of my good friends, and it haunts him today, cause he was trying to leave. <laughs> and Trump said, "Let me get on the elevator with you." He's like, oh shit! Is that what happened? Yes, cause see, oh, he was trying to leave before the photo op. Yeah, no, he was trying to leave Trump's office and go down by his damn self. Right, that's what I'm saying. Before the photo op. Yes, and Trump said, "Well, let me walk down with you." Oh man. So ain't nothing you can do it. The, and he's sitting down, so he's there trying to get funding for his boys club, his his at risk youth that he do. He he bring about four hundred kids, um, young black, um, single parent kids. They had to be single parents, they had to be at risk and he do it for them. So he was trying to get that done throughout the country. And uh he got uh, the HUD secretary, or the one chip in the cookie. You know who it is up there. Oh yeah. Um, what's what, what's that motherfucker's name? Uh, the the newer surgeon. Um, yeah, I know, I know you're talking about. Hold yeah, on. got uh, him up there, and it, the, Trump Ben Carson. Ben Carson got Ben go. Carson on it. Um, Trump called on the phone, told him, "Come on down here, Steve. Got a good idea. I'm gonna get you with the HUD secretary. Moving it like this, he gonna get it done." Steve like, "Got it. Okay, I got it." Thank you very much. Try to get the fuck up out of there. Trump said, let me walk down with you while you're going. At this time, Steve didn't know no, was no, was no, uh, 
people down there know that he know <laughs> that it was no press down there. <laughs> so this is what he tell me. He shut up. He it said he setup. come down. He come down. And as soon as he get off the motherfucking elevator, Trump is right beside him, and Trump come in and say, "Yeah, I just decided I'm a, I'm gonna get rid of Obamacare, and Obamacare be gone." And Steve, like the fuck are you? <laughs> and then they put the the camera in my face. What you think about Trump <laughs> getting rid of Obamacare? And it's going. <laughs> what the fuck? And you know, I still Steve lip be hanging. What the fuck? <laughs> Steve mad him. I know him. I'm looking at him. This mother. If he could have said this motherfucker right here, he would have. And when I tell you the black, the backlash was, it was cruel. Yeah, I remember he was on Deal Hughley's show, his, his show on TV One, and he said that he didn't really mind what people said about him, but what his family had to go through over that. He said if he had the chance to do it over, he wouldn't do it. Of course, but. It, it, I, I don't believe that. Steve cares. He does. Because I've been with him over 30 years. I see what he do for black people. And not only that, what he do for black people, how much he respect the respect that they give him. Mm. He, he, he loves his people and the accolades that come along with it. I've seen when he went up against the gatekeepers. I seen when we, he had a club, a uh, true story in Dallas. He had a club, a comedy club, and Dion um, put money in it. And it's a huge club, so he was huge in it. And it was this mall that did not let black people come into malls if you sagged. Oh, okay. Period. And they did not take out checks. Hmm. Steve Harvey didn't even shop at that mall that was a black mall in there and they were like we ain't doing this so he was the one to round up to all the congressmen and everywhere that for them to change their policy to allow them to come on in and they was allowed to come in the way whatever way they was drugs even your shit was sagged down to your knees or and also accept checks from black people at the same time yeah i mean i don't think any black people really walked away from being next to trump feeling like they got anything out of it. I think no. it's just various, you know, levels of loss along the way. Well, I would say anybody. Yeah, it, yeah it don't pretty even much. Have to do, I wouldn't even say black, everybody. Well, I mean, you know, people like Roger Stone. No, <laughs> but then Roger, again, I mean, he... But Roger was, <laughs> Roger was already Roger. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Trump didn't help Roger. All right. You understand? No, Roger was Roger. If, 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 Trump didn't have Roger Stone, he wouldn't be president of the United States. Yeah. Because he was the constant for WikiLeaks and the emails, when to drop them, to kill mm -hmm. the story, when he had to access Hollywood. It was Roger Stone that got in contact with them to say, hey, we need some shit right here so we can change the narrative of you saying you grabbed a pussy and all the thing off it. What's <laughs> the thing is about the goddamn emails. Mm -hmm. So, you know, if you are already a crook, and you sign up with with the crook, the crook can't lose. He was already a crook, right? You understand? So you can't hurt the crook. You use the crook, and then you looked out for the crook. So anybody else that had any kind of reputation of being a crook got hurt fucking with Trump. 